Hello, I am Sergeis and welcome to the introduction to the mesh to hrtf version 1 tutorial. There is already a whole series of videos and written tutorials for every step of the hrtf simulation, so that even if you never did anything like this before, there is a video for that. The tutorial series starts with the detailed installation instructions for Windows, because that's what I use, even though mesh to hrtf works great also on Linux or Mac computers. HRTF simulation relies on accurate 3D model of the head. It sounds complicated, but the tutorial explains and demonstrates how anyone can scan the head using just a common iPhone. For the best result, it helps to organize hair and perhaps provide some extra tracking references, but most of the time it's not necessary. To eliminate guesswork, the videos are quite long and detailed, but there is no need to watch every minute of it. If you feel confident, just jump ahead. The details are still there when you need them. After the scanning, which takes less than an hour, comes the initial cleanup and merging of scan data into a complete head. Using professional 3D scanners, there may be no need to merge anything at all, and both the scanning and cleanup gets even more simple. When the head mesh is in one piece, comes the sculpting step, where we make some final corrections such as smoothing away any remaining hair to better represent underlying skin surface. 3D mesh cleanup usually takes the most effort, but even here video tutorials provide a good reference for how long time does it take, and you can see every mouse click to quickly learn your way around. Then follows a fairly quick mesh optimization step, where we use another free program to convert millions of triangles into about 40,000 that are sufficient for the simulation. When the mesh grading is ready, we import the left and right side meshes back into Blender, mark where are the ears, and export the simulation project. Exporting can be done by manually filling in all the options using a graphical user interface, or there is a convenient script that does it even faster. Then you literally need to double-click on one program and come back when the simulation is ready. Typical simulation can take under 3 hours on a computer with 64 GB of RAM and 16 cores, but it is possible to use any Mac, Linux or Windows computer with at least 16 GB of RAM to run the simulation and eventually it will be ready. When the simulation is ready, we drag and drop project folders and double click on one more file to run post-processing. About a minute later, you will get your SOFA HRTF files. That's it. In practice, there are additional details that are good to know, primarily because we are all making mistakes and end up diagnosing where things went wrong. You can see me fixing my mistakes while making the tutorial as well. Again, both videos and written tutorials show plenty of examples how to detect and deal with common issues, so with a positive attitude, everyone can do this. When your HRDF and HRIR SOFA files are ready, you can check out SOFA application notes to get your first ears-on experiences with your SOFA file. These application notes are not part of the mesh to hrtf project, so there are likely even better resources available elsewhere, but application notes will get you started. Clearly, to use mesh to hrtf takes more than just a few clicks. On the other hand, you will get top-quality HRTF simulation results based on accurate 3D data that you have personally verified. Mesh to HRTF enables a level of confidence and accuracy that is simply not available in any commercial alternative. All of this does not require any prior knowledge, no new user accounts, no subscriptions, and is perfect privacy. Your personally identifiable ear data never leaves your devices. When you are ready to experience what an individual HRTF sounds like, I would recommend to look through the 3D scanning tutorial so that you have the necessary things in place because that is the only part that can use some preparation. Everything else should be just going step by step using the freely available software till you get your HRTF. So I wish you all the best and see you in the next video.